Hi friends. I am currently in the middle of a living room makeover. There's this chair that I have that I really want to make over. Kind of wanted to just vlog this experience. You can see like my living room is very like the warm tones and then we have this chair over here which I'll show you more of in a minute. It's very gray. It's a really great chair. It's just like the fabric is the issue I think. So let's just go on that journey together. Okay, so let me let me show you more about this and then um, we'll see what we can find to help make it better. So I don't really know why, but I talk a lot of shit about this chair. I think they call it a cuddle chair, which I don't know why, but that name kills me. Look at the pillow. I mean, that's dated. I love the idea of the, having like a circle chair, you know? The fabric's just not there, and boucle, sherpa, very kind of similar. That's sort of the vibe I wanna go for. I'm open to just kind of winging this, but hoping it turns out good, so. Let's see what we can do. Off to Fabricland we went, and as I suspected, any fabric that I liked was just so costly. I'm always disappointed when I come to places like this. The material is really expensive here. It's $30 a meter, just for a meter. I'm gonna need at least like four. So, it's becoming a very expensive DIY. I saw another girl use a blanket to do like a blue clay kind of thing. So I'm wondering if we should just go the blanket route, you know? Let's go maybe check somewhere else. Okay, so I got this. Target has these Sherpa blankets, okay? just open this. They are queen size, so they're literally huge. 25 bucks for a queen size. So I feel like I might only need one, maybe two, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but this feels like the most cost effective way. So if you're looking to do something like this, check out Target. Let's just get to it. I don't really know what I'm doing. We're just, we're just gonna wing it and hope that it turns out good, okay? So to do this, we've got electric staple gun, some staples, also have some fabric cutting scissors because I figure I'm gonna have to cut the fabric at some point. Listen, if you have a piece of furniture and you just don't like the fabric, just recover it because I had no idea what I was doing here and I made it through. So I feel like if I can do this, you can do this. You also can just buy like a cheap stapler from any hardware store. I just happen to have this powered one. Okay, so I've started with just um, stapling the bottom edge of this blanket, also because I feel like it'll be stronger here where the stitching is. So I've just stapled on along this way. I've stopped here because this is where the seam is. Hard to tell, but there's a seam there. That's probably where I wanna cut it and staple it. So I just wanna like flip it up now and pull it tight. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, so I did that side without filming it because I needed to know how to do it so I could tell you how to do it. I'm just going along the bottom of this and attaching it where I can to the wood. There's not a lot of spots to attach it, but I'm doing my best underneath here. I also noticed that sometimes the fabric was too thin to hold a staple. So I just kind of like, I have some cardstock and I'm putting that on top and stapling it on. Just here where it, the fabric's being pulled really tight, it just helps the staple not go right through the fabric. So that's kind of like a good little tidbit of info. Cutting this fabric off was so satisfying. Seriously, I just felt like I was on my way. This whole DIY took me two full days. So anytime I made some progress, I was very happy. The way that I did the other side, which it's really nothing <laughs> to write home about, is I cut a line straight here. That way I could have like a better idea of what I need to do in this area. And then I just started by attaching this. We're gonna do a whole piece on the front here but it's nicer to be able to staple along these seams, so that's why I kept this here. You definitely have to make sure that where you're
stapling, there's a piece of wood under it. So that's why I'm going across this line right here. For the arm, what I did was I cut up this line and I stapled this fabric to the front of the arm. And then this fabric got wrapped around and stapled on this side of the arm. Okay, stapled this, gonna cut it off. And then I'm gonna figure out this situation before I fix this. Pretty sure I just like cut it and pulled it taut. So of that same blanket, I have a bunch of fabric left. So this is gonna be the front piece. And I'm going to start the same way again. I'm going to staple it to the bottom first. Once the bottom was complete, I moved to the top and I just stapled the whole way around following that piece of wood that made that curve. And then once that was done, I just cut the fabric off and that was my front piece. I think the front turned out really good and obviously glad I did that in two pieces. Now for the cushion, I did end up making my own cushion cover. You don't have to do this necessarily. It was just what worked best for me. I'm just tracing out a pattern here. Um, I really wanted to be able to wash it. It's white, right? So I just wanted to be able to throw it in the wash if it gets dirty or if it gets stains on it. That's why I wanted to go the cushion route. Um, but you definitely could find another way to do it if you just wanted to keep stapling and put something under the cushion to staple to. This just makes sense for my lifestyle with the dogs and all of that. So I cut two of those round pieces and then this is the side piece that I'm going to sew everything together. I did end up needing two blankets, one for the cushion. Um, I ended up making some throw pillows also for the chair. So it ended up costing me 50 bucks in fabric. But then I realized in order to make this come off, I needed a zipper. So I went back to Fabricland and got a zipper and... That just made my life so much easier. Okay, I'm sewing a zipper. Never in my life have I sewn a zipper before. So if you're watching this thinking, well, I can't do that, Tasha, that's friggin' hard. Well, neither can I, but I'm just trying. That is the only, right, Dash? That is the only way you learn to do something is by trying it. And like, I'm hoping for the frickin' best here. And then I kind of stop every so often and then I just keep on going. So here is when we see if it, <laughs> if it worked. Okay, you guys, I did it. I did it. The reason I wanted to do a zipper on here was because I wanted it to be easy to wash that cover, but it did take a while. I think another way I could have done it was like put a piece of wood under the cushion and then just like upholster staple it to the this cushion to the bottom of that piece of wood there. But like I said, I wanted to be able to wash it. It's so cute. It's part of my living room makeover, which is coming next to my channel, waiting on some artwork to pieces, but it is coming. I'm gonna show you a little up close. It really turned out so good. I'm so happy. Let me know what you guys think. Would you guys do this? I will see you guys in the next one.